My name is Jenna. I am 27. I my background in art. I've been doing art since I was a child. Uh, my parents always bought me art supplies all the time, and they've always supported me up until now. I didn't start taking art seriously until kind of when I got to college. I started off looking into doing teaching, and then I changed my mind, and I just decided to follow my dreams and go with the art degree, which I'm glad I did. Um, it definitely helped develop my art a lot when I went to Delaware State. I had a lot of great professors who were very supportive and um, they had taught me to take risks with my artwork and not be afraid to say what I want to say. And I definitely think that translated into um, the piece I created. Jenna created this mural as part of a collaboration between local businesses in Wilmington, Delaware and Flux Creative Consulting. It was displayed on the window of the Nomad Bar in downtown Wilmington in 2020, after several buildings in the area were damaged due to civil unrest. My inspiration, um, so I had just gotten back, I'm in the military, so I just got back from doing a tour in Greenland, and that was during COVID and during the time that George Floyd had passed. Um, and there were a lot of conversations that were happening um, that were very uncomfortable for me, um, a lot of microaggressions that happened that were very uncomfortable for me. Um, I was the only black female in my squadron, so there wasn't a lot of people around me that I could really talk to about everything. And so with this piece, I was, I realized there that there's a lot of people who don't understand the outrage of what was going on, who don't understand the history. When I got the opportunity to do this piece, I wanted to go ahead and get all those emotions out that I had during that time. And I really wanted people to understand the history behind what was happening. And just the fact that it's not just, people aren't just upset about this one incident, but it's just the fact that things continue to happen over time and the trauma gets passed down through generations and people are tired of it. Illuminating the injustice that sparked the creation of this artwork are the images of Ahmaud Arbery, who was shot to death while jogging, and Breonna Taylor, who was killed by police in her home, both also in 2020. I was so scared um, because I knew that the the background of it is what I started with, so all of the newspaper articles. So I knew that was gonna be, and I had to come and go. Like it wasn't just being done in one setting, so I knew that the newspaper articles was what people were gonna see first. And so I was so anxious that it would upset people before I got the chance to fully express what I was doing and I really appreciate the owners of the Nomad because they had just trusted my process because I know they're probably like what is going on what is this girl doing but um <clears throat> yeah I was super anxious but I was excited and I I still felt even though I knew it was risky to say what I wanted to say um and then it helped me feel better when people on the street when I was working on it they would come by and they were happy about what I was doing so then that helped ease my anxiety the collage is paper adhered to plywood and stands about nine feet tall. It features important figures in modern Black history, including famed activist Martin Luther King Jr., renowned poet and author Maya Angelou, first Black woman in Congress Shirley Chisholm, and first Black president of the United States Barack Obama. Social injustice and the Black community is a big theme in my work. I like to kind of touch on things in pop culture in general, um, I do like to highlight mostly black women and celebrate not only bad stuff that happened in, in black culture, but I like to also celebrate black culture and black women as well in my work. I'm also in the military as well. So that's that has had a lot of influence on my work, just traveling and interacting with different people. So how long did it take you to complete this piece? I think it took me about a month. I was working on it, cause I was still working at the time too. So I was working on it outside of my work hours. So I'll come and do a few hours at a time. Um, so I believe it took me about like three to four weeks. I chose to donate my art here. I feel like representation is really important. And I think that this work is different than what you guys already have. So I feel like it was super important to include something like this because it was different. And also it's important to show, you know, the history and black history because it is part of the world history and Delaware history. So I am doing a few commissions right now, um, just some custom artworks for people who have asked. And then I'm hoping to have my own show soon, um, maybe summer, maybe in the fall, we'll see how it turns out. 
But that's my next goal is to have a solo show. Yay! That's great. <laughs>